hello chess friends this is my first video and we are going to see a game between Alexander Adyakhin fourth uh, world chess champion and his opponent with black pieces was Boklobo so position you are looking at right now is the most critical position maybe they have read during the game so let's check how they read this position so here Alekin is playing with white and he was the fourth world champion and often considered one of the greatest chess player of all time by the age of 22 he was already among the strongest chess players in the world you can compare him with what is Magnus Carlsen today maybe at the time of this game future world champion was among the top 5 players in the world so he was 21 at the time of this game and his rival and 3 year older FM Boklobo was a Russian chess grandmaster who won numerous events and played 2 matches with uh, him for the world championship title against Taliyakin and famous uh, Bogo Indian defense characterized by 1d4, knight f6, 2c4, e6, 3 knight f3 bishop b4 check is named after Boglobo so chest uh, matrices has named him as uh, number one in the world in January 1927 rating list so let's check the game This game was played in year 1913 or 1914 maybe in during the end of 1913 or in January 1914 because in various so different sources uh, different dates are cited on chessgames.com it says that it was year 1914 and was played in St. Petersburg on the banks of Neva River in Russia uh, and in some other older sources year was 1913 so maybe I am going with the chess dot chessgames.com year 1914 maybe in January 1914 and let's check the game so well, I can begin with e4 and then e5 by Boglobo Knight f3, knight c6, bishop e5, bishop c5, and c3. So, this is a uh, not very common position. Uh, still, it was uh, very common during this era, maybe. And then, after move like d4 and exchange on d4 it's better to move bishop to deliver a check and then bishop exchange on square d2 and now probably the most uh, critical line goes like this takes takes and then knight to c3 so now here Boglobo gave check and here what modern chess engines like Houdini and Stoffy suggest that it's better not to move your king to f1 but to play queen e3 so that after castle castle and queen d6 rook f2 e1 and knight f5 position is equal but uh, and they can prefer more, more older older style of play with uh, king after check king to f1 so after this Houdini already suggests that white is much better oh uh, black is uh, slightly better and then after this sequence here at this point of 
after a last movie sub G4, somebody on mm, chessgames.com way back in 2004 when engine talk technology was not that advanced suggested that maybe this is the strongest move for black but after this move black is winning in almost all variation but that is not true i think with the help of houdini and stockfish and other strong engines uh, we now know that this position is in fact plus for white <coughs> so excuse me this is really strange <coughs> with uh, handle ugly bird on chess.com chessgames.com kbitzing somebody noted that bishop g4 is uh, winning for black but that is not true like uh, maybe for the human analysis point of view uh, it was equal but uh, in no way black was better so the most critical line goes like this F chairs and bishop takes f3, pawn takes, bishop takes c2, and here white is clearly peace ahead without much trouble. So, what what was played during the game after bishop g4, bishop b3? Maybe th this was not the more correct or accurate move. Taking on c6 maybe was much better. So after this line, even king g2 we can consider. That is also good. So going back to the game variation after we sub g4 sub and then taking on c3 c6 and then we sub takes on f3 queen takes knight we sub takes c6 and this probably was a wrong move maybe final mistake in the game by Alia King because uh, Queen E3 I think was better than H4 but anyways H4 Rook to D2 and after Rook F1 it is certain that now White is going to lose this game all these moves are probably forced doesn't matter here where the king goes king can go to h8 that is also ok so king was split to f8 and rook d1 queen takes f7 rook d2 h6 rook takes f2 rook check King goes to h2, queen takes rook, queen back to g4, and finally bishop takes on g2. And this is winning advantage. So, probably here, uh, Ali can resign in view of uh, loss of material and maybe a force mate. So, that's all for now going to produce more classical game videos so please comment below with suggestion thanks